Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having a great day. And yes, um, they're releasing a new tier. I think, in my opinion, people might disagree, you might agree. I think it's way too soon. I mean, the amount of time it takes to get some of these higher level tiers, I mean, it's quite expensive. I really do think that they need to push it out a little bit more. They won't do it for this tier, but seriously, please do not put another tier out for at least... I don't know. I mean, I know the big spenders won't be spending as much, but give them stuff to spend on in Atlas, you know? Like, keep putting out new content in Atlas so it's more, like, geared towards everybody and not just the end-tier players. Because what they're doing, and I've made a video completely on this, they're increasing the gap between the normal players, per se, like, who maybe spend a little bit, but not a whole lot, to the, and to the whales, right? It's There's a huge gap now. And now they're releasing a brand new tier called Vanguard Tier. Now, Vanguard. Now... We just have some notes on what's going to be happening pretty soon. We do not know their skill set, so if you're here for that, I apologize. Check out my video that I'll either be posting tomorrow or today. I think it's coming out today. Currently, it's Thursday. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the Vanguard tier. I have not really looked at the names too much, so hopefully there's something I can pronounce. Uh, fingers crossed, but okay. So, I, I heard this though. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to release all the legendary... Dragons, there's six. There's two of each type of dragon, two warriors, two sorcerers, two hunters. And then later on, like they've done for Obsidian <clears throat> and uh, Harbinger, they'll release the Mythics later on, probably within two or three breeding events. So yeah, just going to let you guys know about that. Okay, so Jotan, Legendary Ice Warrior, Balahim, or whatever your his face is. <clears throat> oh yeah, here, let me actually go and show you really quick. Uh, this is this guy right here. Uh, Jotan, pretty sick looking, like, I, I dig this look, I dig that look, look at that, I mean, it, it really looks cool, you know, I, I'm trying to remember where I saw that look from, there's like a particular, there's a particular book, or like movie, sorry, that I've seen this in, I think it was in Lord of the Rings, like the big demon, I think that's it, but anyway, it looks really sick, um, I'm not gonna read the lore, but basically, this is from the Frigid Narrows, again, all these dragons are based on Atlas, uh, parts of the map. So the atlas is broken into different sections of regions <clears throat> and each of these dragons are from a different one. So yeah. Anyway, so that is Jotan. Now we got <clears throat> Balahim. I'm assuming he's not going to have a fish in game. <clears throat> I'm going to assume. Not 100% sure yet, but if he does, it's kind of sick. So it's like a cheetah, pouncing terror, and then it is a legendary dark warrior. A prowling predator starking other dragons from the jungle floor. Now, correct me if I'm mistaken. That's a, <clears throat> that's a like water. That's not jungle floor. But anyway, just a side note. And then wind blown. And then I can't see what it says after that. But I'm assuming it's not important. Uh, Sangus. Again, I probably will mispronounce these. I apologize in advance. But y'all know I don't care about pronunciation anyway. Okay, so legendary wind hunter. Pretty sick looking. Like that guy. <clears throat> I can dig that. So, Blood Moon Drake. I, yeah, I can see, like, the blood. It's, like, a reddish tone. I like that. It's not, it looks cool. Only emerges from Twilight Woodlands during a Harvest Moon. Interesting. I, I kind of like that look. It <clears throat> kind of looks like... I think they're really going after uh, more <clears throat> animal looks, you know? Like, the last one was kind of like a cheetah. This one looks like a bird of prey. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I kind of like it. Then you got Red Redarine. Red Redrain. Red, red drain, I don't know, something like that, and it is a legendary fire hunter. <clears throat> this guy kind of reminds me of Wydron, which is like the metallic, uh, what is it called? The, it's like made of <clears throat> like steel and stuff like that. Steel dragon, I think it's what's what it's technically called. It's it's a really sick dragon in terms of look wise. This guy kind of gives the same feel. Again, it's fire, so all that gear you put on Korthanak, you can put on this guy. Um, the latest model of artificial dragons from the fire field artisan so fire fields doesn't look pretty doesn't look too bad at all looks pretty sick actually and then you got the legendary earth <clears throat> sorcerer now this guy people are saying looks anorexic i guess that's the truth but it reminds me a lot of xenot exnot or whatever you want to call his face it's interesting i i like this look again props to pg they actually look pretty good i like the looks of them <clears throat> now in the game keep in mind it will look different uh, so it's not really guaranteed to look exactly like this. 
uh, because this, when it, before it's implemented into the game, between like where it changes from this into an actual 3D model in the game, there are differences, but usually it's not <clears throat> too, too different. It still looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely digging that look. And then you got K's. <clears throat> Out of all of them, I would say this is like my least favorite look. He definitely looks, I don't know <clears throat> why, but this looks more like a uh, Japanese type thing, you know? Like, I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, this is typical Japanese. No, it just kind of looks like it, you know? I don't know. Th let me know what in the comments what you guys think about that. But yeah, overall, very nice designs. Uh, you can read the lore if you want to. The link will be down in the description. <clears throat> Now, miscellaneous. So there's some new ones. Um, starting with being on tier, they'll be releasing all legendaries in the first wave and the mythics in the second wave instead of how previous tiers were with one mythic and a few legendaries. Um, <clears throat> let's see if there's anything else um, that is extremely important. Future, <clears throat> future seasonal divines will also be based off of a region. Interesting. Firefield humans build their own dragons. PG Christ called Dwight Dream... Redrian, Wydrian 2.0. I literally said that. She copied me. Um, so when dragons are from the same region, they aim to have the, share the same visual elements. Glowing Cradle, distrustful of outsiders. This is more of like <clears throat> lore-based information, I guess. Um, Northern Prairies is a new region and may be renamed. Uh, Medrian and Karen are also from the, the region. No level requirements yet. We'll be on blog on Thursday. So we'll be getting <clears throat> some more information on... The level requirements, which is really going to be a pain because I know that it will be quite a lot. Um, like, probably level... Because right now, to max out a Mythic Harbinger, it's 357. So, to max out a Mythic of this tier, <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to hearing that. I'll be straight up with y'all. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. But anyway, um, yeah, <clears throat> it'll be an issue. But, so, here's the schedule. You got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... Today, we'll be getting the spell kit, so check up on that. You should be seeing that pretty soon <clears throat> after I post this video within, like, four to five hours. Um, so, yeah, I'm pumped for that. Anyway, guys, hope you guys found this information useful. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.